I am a photographer for Orland here at Dixon Center. I am the manager for the women's basketball team. I'm a classroom coach for basic photography and I'm also a photographer for Sherry Peters and Nerney Leadership. Well, currently I'm a sales associate at Modell Sporting Goods in the King of Prussia Mall. Uh, I currently work here in the mail room and I also work for Wolfington Center driving the vans. Uh, the job on campus I currently hold is the desk assistant. I sit at the desk, I check IDs, I sign people into the residence halls. Uh, I can handle complaints on like a non-RA level. For basketball, being the manager, I help with social media pages, I help set up before practices, I help clean up after practices. If someone gets injured, I like help them, grab them ice, grab the trainers. During games, I record the games, upload the games, so like the team can watch it afterwards, see their mistakes, and just all around like be there to help out as much as I can. As a sales associate, I um, check customers out, I greet them, I sell shoes, I help, I lead them to the product, I tell them the, the features and benefits of the products, and I try to upsell at the same time. For Orlin, I go to most of the events that intramurals have mostly, or follow around the club teams like club roller hockey, club lacrosse, and I photograph those events. And I also, on the side, create posters for him to post around, and I'm in the process of creating shirts for him. Uh, well, for the mail room, we serve all the Cabrini community. Uh, we pick up mail, we deliver mail, uh, and we also go to the post office and, and drop off mail. Uh, for Wolfington, uh, all I do is pick up people pick up students per se and take them to their destination and we bring them back safely. Uh, I would say the only drawbacks of working the hours I do is when you're working really late and sometimes when you're working a double shift and working from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning is that, you know, sleep. You know, it messes up your sleep schedule, you end up sleeping later, so it makes getting to early morning classes a little bit more difficult. One of the drawbacks that I face is sometimes my friends will want me to do something on the weekend and I'll be unable to because I'll be working, but having that extra pay is very helpful at the same time. Mostly the money that I make through these jobs goes towards bills, like helping my mom out sometimes, like, you know, she doesn't need it. I'm like, oh, so I'll really some money here. Um, saving, saving a lot, going towards school. Most importantly, my bills. Uh, I'm very independent. I don't really rely on people much. So like my car payments, my credit cards, and you know, things like that. It most, the money I earn most often goes towards food that's other than the cafeteria and um, weekend supplies such as beer and um, cups, and then I save a lot of my money as well. One way for students to earn money from working on campus is through the Federal Work Study Program. So a student um, uh, needs to uh, complete the federal form, and that's um, the FAFSA form, which is the free application for federal student aid. It's how all of our students apply for any type of federal aid here, um, or any type of state or institutional aid um, here at, um, at Cabrini University. Um, based on the information that students and families provide on their FAFSA form, um, we then determine um, if the student demonstrates the financial need and would be eligible uh, to uh, to work at a federal work study job. Um, there are about 200 students that are employed in, in federal work study positions on campus. I think there are two um, really great things about um, uh, participating in the federal work study program. The first is it is not funding that is deducted off of a student's tuition bill, but rather it's uh, potential earnings. So students can earn a bi-weekly paycheck throughout the academic year and this is really helpful for a lot of students because it just gives them that spending cash that they need for food or fun money or books or you know materials things like that. But I think the other benefit as well um, with uh, for students working in federal work study programs is it allows students uh, a way of connecting uh, that's to the campus community that's different than just the classroom environment. Your networking is definitely a big thing when when you're working in a place like the Melbourne because you meet a lot of people 
and you know you never know who you can come across on a daily basis and there were times where I needed classes and professors came to you know pick up their packages and I had the opportunity to talk to them right then and there and you know it's hard when you applying to classes late and you can't get in and you want to send out emails and they don't respond to you right then and there and when with the professors coming to the window you know that's a great opportunity so I was able to get in a lot of my classes like that. So networking is definitely a big thing. With the photography essence, they're helping me like build my skills up and they're helping me get my name out there because they're just not like, oh, these are my pictures now, you have nothing to do with them. Like they say like, oh, you can put your name on these pictures, we'll get you the publicity you need it for them. So they're helping me get my name out there a lot and also working with the basketball team with the social media, like my name is someone attached to them like, oh, like, Paige Wagner took this photo, or she's helped me out with the social media, and just gives me the leadership skills. Uh, my future career, I hope to be a counseling psychologist holding sessions. People talk to me about their problems. I offer solutions and psychological advice. And uh, if I go to medical school, it'll be uh, prescribing medications and other forms of therapy. In my future career, I hope to be doing some work with um, sales, not quite the sales I'm doing right now, but maybe pharmaceutical sales or insurance sales in the future.